Hey there fellow tech wizards and mobile maestros. Welcome back to our channel. Today we are about to embark on a thrilling adventure that will transform the way you look at your Android device forever. Get ready to explore the fascinating universe of Termux, the pocket sized powerhouse that brings the power of Linux right to your fingertips. Whether you are a coding specialist, a cybersecurity savant, or a curious explorer yearning for new possibilities, Termux has something incredible in store for you. Imagine having a complete Linux distribution right on your phone, a virtual playground where you can tinker with packages, experiment with programming languages, and unleash the full force of a command line interface, all without the need for root access. In this video, we will guide you through the ins and outs of Termux, from its seamless installation process to its immersive array of packages and tools. Whether you are an absolute beginner or a seasoned pro, you will make sure you are equipped with the knowledge to make the most of this powerful app. Get ready to level up your Android experience like never before. So buckle up and hit that like button if you are as excited as we are. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you won't miss any of our future explorations into the realm of tech wonders. Without further ado, let's dive headfirst into the extraordinary world of Termux. And before we begin, if you are someone who is interested in building a career in cybersecurity by graduating from the best universities, or a professional who elicits to switch careers with cybersecurity by learning from the experts, then try giving a shot to simply run postgraduate program in cybersecurity with modules from MIT Schwarzman College of Engineering. The course link is mentioned in the description box below that will navigate you to the course page where you can find a complete overview of the program being offered. So stay tuned with us until the end of this video. And don't forget to register your opinion in the comment section below. Now let's get started and the first thing we'll see is what is Termux. So Termux is a powerful terminal emulator for Android devices that brings the full capabilities of a Linux distribution to your smartphone or tablet. It essentially turns your Android device into a command line interface allowing you to execute various Linux commands and run scripts directly on your device. Termux is an open source project and provides a versatile and accessible environment for developers, hackers, and tech enthusiasts to explore and experiment with various tools and utilities. Termux is designed to provide a convenient platform for developers who prefer working with the command line. It offers a wide range of Linux packages that can be installed using the APT Package Manager, enabling access to an extensive collection of software and development tools. This powerful tool is not just limited to developers, it also caters to security professionals, ethical hackers and anyone who appreciates the flexibility and potential of the command line. Now moving on to Termux features. So access to a full Linux environment, Termux provides a complete Linux environment on your Android device, including a shell, terminal and a wide range of utilities. It enables users to perform tasks that are typically associated with desktop Linux distributions. The next is APT Package Manager. Termux comes with an APT package manager, which allows users to install and manage thousands of pre-built software packages, making it easy to expand functionality and access a vast array of tools. And the next is scripting capabilities. Termux supports scripting using popular programming languages like Bash and Python. This feature empowers users to automate tasks, create custom tools, and develop scripts for various purposes. And the next is customizable terminal. The terminal emulator in Termex can be customized with themes, colors, and fonts to create a personalized command line experience that suits the user's preferences. And the next is external keyboard support. Termux supports external keyboards, making it more efficient for users who prefer typing on physical keyboards, especially when performing extensive tasks. So these were the features. We will have a look on the limitations of Termux. So moving on. So the first limitation is limited access to hardware resources. Due to the security model of Android, Termux operates within its sandboxed environment, restricting direct access to certain hardware resources like the camera, microphone, and sensors. Although the Termux API provides some interaction with hardware, it may have limitations compared to native Android apps. And the next is lack of root access on non-rooted devices. Termux cannot access root privileges on non-rooted Android devices, which means that certain actions and configurations that require elevated permissions may not be possible. And the next is limited graphical interface support. Termux is primarily a command line environment, so it may not offer the same level of graphical interface support as traditional Android apps. This limitation can be a challenge for users who prefer graphical user interfaces or the command lines. So despite these limitations, 
Termux remains an incredibly valuable tool for those who want to explore the power of the command line on their Android devices. It offers a unique opportunity to learn, experiment and utilize Linux tools and utilities in a portable and convenient manner. Now moving on, we'll see the Termux use cases. So the first is, we can run Python scripts on it. Second, we can run bash scripts. Then we can play command line games. Then we have access VI editor. Then we have make SSH connections and create Python virtual environment. We can develop apps as long as you don't need GUI access. And then we can also install additional packages with pip, npm, cpn, gem, tlmgr and other such package managers. And with that, we'll move to see how we can install Termux on Android. So Termux can be easily installed on Android devices from either the Google Play Store or the F-Droid repository. So I will show you the website or the F-Droid repository and I will also mention the link of this repository in the description box from where you can download the Termux APK and install on your device. So you have to follow these steps. So first you have to open Google Play Store or F-Droid on your Android device. So now we will see a demo on how we can install Termux on Android device. So there are two ways that is from Google Play Store and F-Droid repository. So you can see on the mobile device that the first link is F-Droid repository. So you can download it from here or from the Google Play Store. And there are also some resources from you where you can download from up to down and other devices and other links. But here we will discuss only two types. So first we will go to F-Droid repository and when we scroll down we can see the download APK option that is 97 MIB so you just have to click on that and it will start the download for you as I already downloaded on my Android device so we'll just open the Termux so this is the Termux how it looks after installing and now you'll see some commands what we can do on Termux. So the first command is to update the packages list from the repositories. We can run the command apt space update and when we click on enter you can see that it is connecting to termux.mentality.rip and you can see it has started updating all the packages from the repositories. So it has been done. So this is what I have shown you the demo. So the commands are easy. I will tell you the commands. You can see them and run on your Termux if you want to. Okay. So now we will come back to commands. So when you have downloaded the app. So when you have downloaded the app. The app will ask you for the storage access permissions. So you can allow the permissions for it. And if it's not asking. So by default Termux operates in its sandbox environment and does not have direct access to Android devices storage. However, you can grant storage access to Termux, allowing it to interact with files and directories on your device. So I will tell you how you can enable storage access. So you can open the settings on your mobile device and you can scroll down and select apps or apps and notifications. Then find and select Termux app from the list of installed apps. Now tap on permissions or app permissions, look for storage or read and write files and toggle it onto ground storage access to Termux. So this was all and installing and managing Termux packages. Now we'll move to some of the commands. So Termux comes with its package manager called APT advanced package tool which allows you to install update and manage various packages and software. Here's how you can use APT to work with packages. So to update the package list from the repositories we can run the command APT space update and to update or upgrade all installed packages to the latest version we can run the command apt space upgrade so installing packages on termux installing packages on termux is straightforward you can use the apt install command followed by the name of the package you want to install for example to install the nano text editor you can run the command apt space install space nano and if you want to uninstall packages on termux you can use the apt remove command followed by the name of the package you want to uninstall for example, to remove the nano text editor, you can use the command apt space remove space nano. So these are the essential steps for installing Termux, enabling storage access and managing packages on your Android device. With Termux, you can access a full Linux environment and enjoy a powerful command line experience right on your smartphone or tablet. So we will have some cheat sheet for other commands. I will show you some.
So in this section, we'll provide you with a comprehensive Termux commands cheat sheet to help you get started with the terminal emulator. The cheat sheet will include essential commands that you will commonly use in Termux for various tasks. So the basic navigation commands are the first is CD that is used to change directory. The next is LS that is used to list files and directories in the current location. The next is PWD print working directory. It displays the path of the current directory. The next is MKDIR create a new directory and the next is touch that is create a new file. Then we have some other commands from file manipulation commands. So the first command is copy files or directories. You can do that by using the command cp then we have move or rename files or directories you can do that by using mv then we have rm that is to remove files or directories then we have cat to display the contents of a file then we have nano or vi that is text editors to create a, or edit files within termux then we have package management commands that is apt commands so you have already seen that is apt update that is to update the package repositories to get the latest package information then we have apt upgrade to upgrade install packages to the latest versions then we have apt install install a new package apt remove uninstall a package then we have apt search search for a package in the repositories then we have networking commands that is ping to test the connectivity of a server or website then we have if config or ip that is to display network interfaces and the configurations then we have net stat NETSTAT that is to show network statistics such as open ports and active connections. Then we also have some process management commands that is PS to display currently running processes, scale to terminate a running process and task automation commands bash or sh to run a bash script, python or python 3 to execute python scripts. And you can also enable other repositories on Termux. So by default Termux uses its official repositories to provide a wide range of packages. However, you might want to explore other repositories to access additional software or packages not available in the official repositories. Enabling other repositories requires careful consideration as it may expose your system to potentially untrusted sources. Here you, here's how you can do it. That is to edit the source.list file. To enable other repositories, you will need to edit the sources dot list file in Termux. Be cautious while making changes to this file as incorrect modifications may lead to issues. And you can also add third party repositories and do other tasks. And this was all for this tutorial. Hope you guys found it informative and helpful. Now let's take a minute to hear from our learners who have experienced massive success in their careers. Hi, I'm Philip. I'm 61 years old and last year I upskilled with Simply Learn's postgraduate program in cybersecurity after working 30 years in the IT sector in various different profiles. I'm happy to tell you that I was able to clear and pass my CISSP and CCSP certification exams on the first attempt after taking the course. The course, I must say, was packed with practical examples and was led by highly skilled and certified instructors with many companies before as a, as a security analyst and architect on a contract basis, but I needed some stability, which I got with the job I just started with Infosys as a cybersecurity consultant. Happened on the first. And if you like this session, then like, share and subscribe. If you have any questions, then you can drop them in the comment section below. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more from Simply Learn. Staying ahead in your career requires continuous learning and upskilling. Whether you're a student aiming to learn today's top skills or a working professional looking to advance your career, we've got you covered. Hi there. If you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.